everybody. Welcome to City and County's Money Lessons for Kids. I am so glad you are tuning in. We are going to be talking about goods versus services. Now, quick note to parents, this lesson is super easy. All you need is this screen, headphones if you don't want to listen to me the entire time, and lastly, for the interactive activity at home, your child will need a blank piece of paper and items to color with. So crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever you prefer. So hit pause, find a comfortable place, and let's get learning. Are you ready? Me too. Today we are going to be talking about different businesses in our community and if they are offering goods or a service. Now this becomes really important because maybe someday you want to become a business owner. You have to decide, are you going to sell goods or are you going to provide a service? Also, when you have your own money and when you're starting to maybe earn money from chores, or you have your first job, you get to decide where you spend your money. So sometimes you have to make a hard decision. Am I going to go to a store where I can buy a good and bring that item home? Or am I gonna go somewhere that offers a service where maybe I'll get to do something and have an experience, but I won't necessarily get to bring anything home with me. So to get started, we are going to review the definitions of each. I have two of them in my hand and we're going to decide together which one goes with each word. So let's start with this one. Something you can use or consume. So think hard, something you can use or consume. What do you think that is, a good or a service? Any guesses? Shout it out. Good, if you guess, a good, you are correct. So I'm gonna put this definition with goods. A good is something you can use or consume. So that means if I own a business, customers who come to my store or my business are going to walk away with an item. They are buying an item for me and they get to bring it home because I'm providing them something they can buy to use or consume. Now on the other side, leaving us with our last definition, so this one was an easy guess, Service, something that someone does for you. So that means if I have a business and I am a service business, that means people come to my place and my I serve my customers. So a good example would be getting your hair cut. When I go get my hair cut, I don't get to bring any hair cut home. That doesn't make sense. Instead, I'm paying someone for their service of cutting my hair. So although I still get the experience, I don't have anything tangible that I can hold in my hands Maybe unless you keep your hair, but that's kind of weird. Um, but I don't have anything in my hands that I can bring home to use or consume. So to understand these a bit more, we're going to do some identification cards and you're going to help me decide which side they go on. So let's start with a firefighter. So a fire station is also a business or a place of work. So let's say you're talking about going to the fire station. Do they provide a good for our community or do they provide a service? Think hard. Any guesses? It's a service. All the firefighters, the police officers, the doctors in our communities, all of the first responders, they provide us a service. They're constantly monitoring our community and providing us their service of making sure that we are safe and healthy. Now let's go to a car dealership. Let's say I'm going to the car dealership in my community and as a customer, when I go to the car dealership and buy a car, are they providing me a good or a service? Any guesses? I get, think about this. When I leave the store, am I driving away with anything? That was a big hint. Good, it's a good. When I go to the dealership, I get to drive away this brand new car and so it's a good. All right, let's do a few more. Let's do this one right here. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Any guesses? This symbol represents a grocery store. When I go to the grocery store, am I shopping for goods or am I shopping for a service? If you said goods, you're correct. When I go to the grocery store and I buy cereal, milk, eggs, I am bringing something home that I can use or consume. Good, all right, now let's do 
This one right here, a school bus driver. So our school bus drivers, even though we may not know, that's a job. That's something that you can someday do, but they're also getting paid to do this. So as a business, are they providing goods to our community or services? Now, quick reminder, services is something that someone does for you, and a good is something you can use or consume. Any guesses? A school bus driver. If you said service, you're correct. They provide a service of driving kids to school. Now the way, the way that I think about this if I'm ever confused is I think as a customer, when I go to this business, what am I doing there? So for example, at a grocery store, I'm shopping for groceries for my house, something that I can eat. When I call the fire station, I need them to come help me with my house. I need them to do a service. We're gonna do one last one and it's kind of tricky. So these ones both have ice cream on them, but they're different things. This one is buying my own ice cream at the store, where this one is an ice cream restaurant or an ice cream shop. They do almost the same thing, but they're mean different items. So if I go to the grocery store and I buy my own ice cream, that would be a good, yes, you're correct. But let's say I go to a restaurant or an ice cream shop. What does that mean? Is that a good or a service? Although I get to eat ice cream, their business is serving the customers to their door by giving them ice cream cones. So a restaurant or any type of bakery, that is considered a service. Good, is this making sense? I hope so. So what I want you to do for your interactive activity at home is I want you to think of your favorite business that you visit. It can be anything um, in the community. It can be maybe somewhere you go with your family or your parents, and I want you to draw a picture of it. On that picture, right on the top, I want you to write the name of the business, and then if it's a good or a service and why. It's important to know why each of these is what it is so you can identify if you wanna start your own business or where you wanna spend your money. So for mine, my favorite place to be is Dance Explosion. This is my dance studio, and I go here to teach kids dance. So for me, I drew my studio. At the top, I have Dance Explosion. It's a service because kids don't come and take away something from dance. Instead, my job is providing a service of teaching kids dance. So this is what I want you to do at home, is I want you to draw a picture. But before we go, I have one really, really important one to ask you. Does anybody know what this is? This is your credit union. Are we at city and county considered a good or a service? Any guesses? We're considered a service. At city and county, we are proud to help you manage your money and keep your money safe. So when your piggy bank is really full, you bring it to us and we help you count it and we keep it safe in an account. We are providing you a service. So I want you to do this for your favorite business. Draw us a picture, put it if you're a service or a good and why, and share in the comments below, tag us, and we would love to see your photos. Until next time, this is Money Lessons for Kids. See you later.